Welcome to my introduction to networking course, typically abbreviated ITN. This will be for the CCNA version 7 curriculum. All right, welcome. This is lab 12.9.1, implementing a subnetted IPv6 address scheme. Again, I just started it. Time elapsed, less than 20 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and adjust my window. I do have my address table off to the side of my screen. So it's not there. You're going to notice we don't have a lot of details here. We have to figure out these addresses. So let's go start by the objectives. Three steps, three main uh, parts. Determine IPv6 subnet, an address scheme, configure IPv6 addressing on a router, and verifying IPv6 connectivity. Read the background scenario. I don't need to read that to you guys. You guys can take care of that part on yourself. I'm scrolling down. I get more of a scroll bar on the right. So I'm going to adjust this again. All right, so you've been given the IPv6 subnet 2001 DB8. ACAD00C8 colon 64. So we need to do some math to figure out how to do this. So you need to have four more subnets for each network that is required. Increment the subnet address consecutively by one to arrive at four required subnets. Zero, so zero, mm, sorry, slash 64. That means of the eight hextets, the first four These are the ones that should be staying pretty static. That means we're dealing with the 00C8. And this is increment by 1. So 00C8, 00C9, 00C, what's the single character for 10? hexadecimal so we know that is a the next network it should be 00c decimal number 11 it's in hexadecimal so that would be 00c b and then the last one 00c number should be decimal number 12 that converted to two hexadecimal would be C. So we're actually going to program these in in just a little bit. But this would be 00C9, 00CA, 00CB, 00CC. That takes care of part one. Part two, complete the addressing on the routers, on the PCs, Using these guidelines, assign the first IP address to the subnet to the router, assign the link local address as a designated in the address table. For the connection between the routers, assign the first address in the subnet to R1. For the connection between the routers, assign the second one to R2. Set all four hosts automatically to configure with IPv6 addresses. <clears throat> all right, so I'm going to hop on R1 first. Get to my global configuration, conf T. All right, first thing I want to do is IPv6. Unicast routing. It doesn't say to do it, but if you don't do it, IPv6 doesn't work. So, all right, so the different interfaces, 
int gig zero slash zero IPv6 address. It says use this as an FE80 address colon colon one link local. This is also going to be a global unicast address. 2001 db8 db8 ac8 colon c8 colon colon 1 slash 64 leading zeros are turned off that's why we're not adding them no shutdown all right and gig zero slash one I'm gonna reuse this guy IPv actually we know that they got incremented so this was C not our zero zero C eight, the next one is zero zero C nine C nine. No shut. All right. And then the link between R one and R two, that would be the two thousand one DB eight A C A D zero zero C C. And it specifically said first usable to R one second usable to r2 so int serial zero slash zero slash zero c c again link local address no shut All right, link local, GUA, link, link local, GUA, link local, GUA. All right, that takes care of R1. R2. Get to the global configuration. Int gig zero slash zero. We already know Link local address is going to be used. Um, these ones are going to be using FE80 colon colon 2. All right. IPv6. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to. Copy it. All right, move my window. So with the gig, this should be C8, C9, C alpha. Make sure it is alpha colon colon one. Yep, no shutdown. All right, int gig zero slash one, copy, paste, copy, paste. This should be C A B. No shut. Now int serial zero slash zero slash zero. Again, paste. And this one will be a last address, which will be CC. 
but again got to be careful with the instructions here it specifically stated let's send the second address to r2 there we go no shuts i'm gonna modify my window before i do that all right link came on Give it a minute. All right, we should be good to go. All right, set all four hosts automatically to grab their IPv6 address. Automatic. Automatic. You'll, you'll notice they get the address. Automatic. It may take a second. Okay. 96 and PC3 and PC4 I bet are the issue. All right, so I'm going to go back and show IPv6 int brief want to make sure CC2 yep gig 01 FE82 and then the interface 2001 db8 acad cb colon colon one yep gig zero zero fe80 colon colon two 2001 db8 acad ca link local All right, so I'm missing four points, and I know it's PC3 and 4. I'm going to check my assessment, see what I'm missing. Oh, there we go. Got to turn on unicast routing. We did it for R1 automatically, but for R2... We did not. All right, she has 100%. Now we're getting our addresses. Again, without that IPv6 unicast routing, nothing works. Check results again. 42 out of 42, everything is correct. All right, that's the end of this lab. If you have any questions, thoughts, or concerns, definitely feel free to reach out. Thank you. If you have any questions or anything, please feel free to reach out. Again, with this material, being able to ask questions and discuss some of the topics in the lecture help build long-term retention, so do not be afraid to, to communicate with this topic. Again, I'm here if you need anything. Thank you.